Hi everybody, it's uh, me again and I'm here to do a really important job on this occasion and I'm really excited about this because I've been asked to announce the winning entry in, in our badge competition and that's such an important thing to, to do at any event. But before I go into that, I do want to do one thing and I'm probably going to be in bother for doing this because I'm jumping the gun, but I do want to say a massive thank you to James and to all the team who have worked so hard to bring this really special event together this weekend. For me, I think it's been absolutely brilliant. So thank you all very, very much for doing that. Now, when we run events like this, of course, we always have a badge. And I just thought it might be worth just reminding you of a few of the amazing badges we've created in Central Yorkshire over some of the recent years. And I'm hoping that everybody can see this reasonably and maybe even still see me, I'm not sure. But on here, we've got badges for Challenge 14, for Challenge 17, for Cover Doodle Doo, for Pantomimes, for City Chili Camps, for Cub and Beaver Fun Days, and indeed, all the exciting, challenging, and fun things that we do in scouting. And why do we do that? Well, you know what? A badge is a fantastic way of remembering that fun and excitement you have in challenge in scouting. And, and just thinking back on, on some of your favourite events. And as you get older like me, you know you do that even more sometimes. And lots of us, um, both our younger members and, and the older members like me, have camp blankets. And I'm no exception to that. And I'm just going to show you very briefly here why camp blankets are so great and why they remind you of things. I'm just going to point to two things. This badge here, this is when I was a scout in Gloucestershire. And in 1976, I spent two weeks on the island of Mull. That is a truly special memory to me. Not time to explain now, but if you ever see me, please ask me. And this one here, that's celebrating Cubs' 90th year back in 2006. And that is when I came back into scouting as an adult. And believe me, I've never regretted that decision. I've had a fantastic time. So incredible memories are kept on blankets. And of course, that is why when we do do these events, we always, always create a badge. And that's sort of been the same in scouting for 113 years. Badges have always been at the centre of what we do. So of course, once we um, knew that we were going to be doing a virtual event this year, rather than sadly not being able to be in Bramham Park, then we knew straight away that we needed a really special badge. And when we need a really special badge, what do we do? We go out with a badge competition. And of course, that's exactly what we did. And I hope that during the weekend you've had the time to watch the amazing video of all those entries that we've got. As always, the inspiration of our young people in designing badges and coming up with different ideas is just absolutely fantastic. The problem with that is that it makes it really, really hard for us to choose. And as a team, it took us many Zoom calls and many, many discussions to finally find the badge that we believe truly captured the special nature of this event. And I'm really, really pleased to be able to say that we found that badge. And I want to say a massive congratulation to Thomas Mills of First Clifford Cubs, who created this badge, which we think truly captures the essence of a camping lockdown. We just love the house held down by its guy ropes. So well done, Thomas. We think that's a brilliant design and you are the badge winner. Now when we have a badge like that, what we do of course is we take it to a badge designer and they work on it for us to come up with what the actual final badge will look like. And Thomas, first time anybody's seen this, but this is what your badge is going to finally look like for us. Now I hope you can see that well. I hope you think it looks fantastic. It keeps all the original colours that you put on the badge, Thomas, and most importantly, just that house with all its guy ropes in lockdown. So absolutely brilliantly well done to you and indeed to everybody who entered the competition. And I know that I'm going to be ordering one as, as soon as this event is over. So I think it's just a final thank you to everybody who entered. Um, of course, a massive thank you to everybody who's joined us this weekend. And I just hope that like me, you have had an absolutely fantastic time. Thank you and goodbye.